Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to explain uh, Cambridge IGCSC ICT February March 2020 Paper 2 PowerPoint presentation part. So in earlier videos, if you have seen, we have already done with the document production in merge and databases. Now we are going moving, we are moving forwards to PowerPoint presentation part. So in this PowerPoint presentation part, they usually ask you to create a PowerPoint uh, slides where you will insert or you will already um, copy the contents of a file which will be provided to you or sometimes they even they can ask you to type it. So you have to do that and some kind of features they want you to apply to your slide. So uh, it will carry some mark for you. And then after they will usually ask you to uh, print the evidence with the all uh, features that you have applied to your style, your uh, slide, sorry. And also with the slide views, like there are some slide sorter view, print preview, all of them need to be done. So let us start with it now. You are going to create a short presentation. Our slide must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed. Slides must be formatted to display a lit title and bulleted list. Now create a presentation of five slides using m2120 raise dot rtf so i'm going to open the powerpoint presentation and i will click on a file here then we need to click on open and we'll just go to the desktop to our file here we have all files yes this is the one 2120pr yes so when you just click on ok so one, two, three, four, five. Five slides are already inserted here. So they said here, five slide using, so it is already five. Design a master slide for the presentation with a minimum of four features and apply this to all slides. These might, this may include slide number, line, and uh, design animation and transition. First of all, you need to go to the view, which is called master view. Yes, slide master. And just jump to the first slide. Yes. So first of all, I'm going to insert here in the header and uh, footer area. For example, I want the slide number. And then in the footer, that is very interesting. They said here, you see, your name, center number, and candidate number must be must appear on each slide. So you should write here your name, then your center number, then your candidate number. That is done. Now just click on apply to all the slides. You can see it appear here with the date and time. If you if you don't want date and time, you can just Deleted. We don't need it. Now, what are the other features? They ask you to have some design. So let me insert a line here. For example, I would insert uh, just put a line here, and I'm going to change, for example, the line color to a color which is a little bit. You can see the red color, and even I'm going to improve the thickness also. For example, like that. And then I'm going to copy this one or I'm just going to insert one more, one more slide so that the design is a little bit like, for example, one line I'm going to draw here straight. Yes. And then I'm going to click on home here. Outline of this line is red and the weight is, for example, yeah. So now it looks like this. Uh, what other features you can apply to your slide as this said here in the question paper? 
uh, slide number is done, lines is done, color and design, you can even apply the color and design theme. So here we have the animation. So you can choose the animation or just go to the home. Here we have uh, the design part. Yes. So we just need to uh, select the transitions. For example, I want to apply the push slide transition to it and then animation. For example, if you want to apply animation. So here in the view, we have uh, the option, the color scheme. You just click here. Whatever color you want to apply, uh, you can apply to your slide. So let's go back to the home now. Yeah, this is on the slide master. Let me select the color as well. So for example, if I choose from here a theme, a simple theme I'm going to choose, for example, this one, and then the colors I need to apply with it. Uh, and that is a built-in one. Yeah, so let me move to in a one which look like a little bit sophisticated and uh, okay for example this one and uh, I'm just going to move this one a little bit back so that it is clearly seen and even the slide number in this box I'm going to move yes make sure it is not out of the slide yes so or you can do one thing and just uh, this yeah, go to this one and just click here on this line, just move this line a little bit here. Yes. So that is done now. The changes are uh, applied with the name, the date, if you don't want date. So just remove even this one. Yes. Now, so themes are applied. All these changes are applied here. Now they say, your name it will appear now place in your evidence document a screenshot of showing the features that you have applied so what you need to do is you just need to click on normal view yes normal view and uh, slide sort of view so it will look like this so you can take the screenshot of uh, this one so it will show also that you have applied the Mm, transitions to it as well so just take a print screen and uh, place it into your evidence document so where is our evidence document so here our evidence document is yeah evidence and that is our evidence number 11 the last evidence of this paper yeah just paste it now if you want to uh, crop the unnecessary layer you can crop it as well okay and I just click on format crop and we just uh, crop this part yes and even if you want to crop this part you can also do that yes that's done and also if you want to include for example you don't want to include this one and then just go to the normal view here and you can take the print screen of this one as well which represents uh, all the detail or information that they need yeah you can see this information here you just need to uh, crop it from the these uh, handles cropping handles yes yeah and then from this point this yeah and then you go to the PowerPoint presentation yeah here is the uh, transition view that it is already applied now next part is format the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullets so this is the first slide here is option layout title slide now the title is moved here a little bit i'm just going to uh, make it smaller that is enough i guess yes and just make it smaller 
it places at the top and that's it next point they say the title and subtitle text are centered along the middle of the slide so just click on middle of slide here this one also middle of the slide and then presentation by then after that you have to type your name only so just type your name yes and then after they ask you to move the last slide with the title safety in the home to become second slide so here we have a last slide this one so move this one so that it becomes the second slide so just hold and just drop it here now your first slide is this one second one is safety in home then they ask you add the following text as presenter speaker notes for the slide with the title gas appliances and then carbon monoxide is a colorless odorless gas so just paste this one or just type it in the slide where they have adding gas appliances so this one and just here yeah and then just uh, print only this slide with presenter speaker mode so when you're going to print this slide this is slide number three so file here then you have an option of print and then this slide but with the uh, speaker and uh, presenter uh, notes so in this case you have to click click on the uh, properties here the slide so here they said with the notes page so it must be printed with this all information and then you will just click on print so that is done now next step is they ask you to print the single slide showing the presenter notes so as i explained already and then print the presentation in a format showing six slides to the page so now you have to print it again all the slides with six slides per page so just click here and select the option six slides per page so that is and that only consists of five slides that's why it will print them in the format of six slides per page so that's all and uh, that's all with this uh, paper also and then you need to print your evidence document which is already here ready to be printed okay so thank you very much for watching and hope you have uh, learned how to use the powerpoint presentation and we will see you inshallah in next video